Hi guys and welcome back to S Walker Makeup. Now in this video we're going to be going over one of the top spring trends for 2014 which is the bright orange lip. Now this has been seen all over the runways in Paris Fashion Week, London Fashion Week, every fashion week you can imagine it's there, the bright orange lip. And it's a big statement to make so I'm going to be showing you a few ways that you can do this look at home, how you can make it a bit more wearable and also different products that you can use to get the look. So if you want to learn how to get this look just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my foundation and I'm going to use the Bourjois Healthy Mix mixed with a little bit of the 17 Stay Time Foundation. So I'm just going to apply one pump of each just to the back of my hand and just give those a little mix together. I'm just going to dot those all over my cheeks. And then I'm going to take my Real Techniques Buffing Brush and literally just blend that all in. So once my foundation's blended in, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and this is in the number 15. And I'm just going to apply this in areas where I need a little bit more coverage and also where little blemishes might be where you might want to cover some redness. So for me, I have a couple of breakouts just on my chin area at the moment. And just in between the brows. Now I'm going to apply this also under the eyes. Under the brows because I like it to be quite precise there when I'm filling in my eyebrows and then also just on my nose because you can get a little bit red around the nose area so then just blend that in I'm just gonna use my fingers for this okay so once that concealer is all blended in I'm gonna now go into my brows so I'm just gonna take a little spoolie and just comb them through first of all and then I'm going to take my MAC 266 and my HD Brows Palette and literally just fill them in as I'd normally do. So just going along with that angled brush, following the natural shape of your brows and just extend the end slightly. So we should have something like that. I'm going to go back in with the spoolie again and just comb that powder through to make sure that it's all evenly distributed throughout the hairs and it just sort of blends everything together a little bit nicer. And then I'm going to go in with my Archangel from Me Me Me, which has a brow set, a tinted brow set on one end, which you just comb through. It's kind of like a dark brown colour and it's the perfect like small size as well just to fit through your brows. And this just really holds them in and makes them last all day. Okay, so onto the eyes. I want to start off with a really light base. So I'm going to use my favourite highlighter, which is the Bourjois. Um, these are just the single pot eyeshadows, I think they're called. And this is in number 90, Blanc Diaphane, in French, with my badly pronounced accent. So I'm just going to take this on a pencil brush. This is the MAC 219. And start off in the inner corner. Because I want a really highlighted eye look. And then I'll go in with a fluffier brush like a MAC 224. Just take the same shadow again and blend that over the rest of the eyelid. And also just blend in the edge of this inner corner here. Okay then I'm going to go in with NARS Laguna Bronzer on a MAC 217 and I'm actually going to apply this bronzer as like a contour on the eyelid. So I don't want any colour on there, I just want it to be kind of, like I said, quite contoured, have a nice shape to it um, and just look sort of subtly defined. So I'm just taking this, I'm looking straight ahead into my mirror and placing the brush sort of in the socket area and just doing it backwards and forwards motions really lightly in that socket and you can see it creates a natural shadow Then you can go back in with your blending brush and just run that along the edge to really soften it up. It just really gives a nice hollowed out look. So again, just going with your blending brush, making sure all the edges are really nice and soft. 
Okay, now for the front of that, I'm going to go in with some glitter. This is MAC Reflex Pearl Glitter. And then what I'm going to do is make a little kind of mixture on the back of my hand. I'm going to take my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Now, it might seem a little bit strange to use this after an eyeshadow, but this is kind of my sneaky little trick for how to get glitter to stay. So if you just take your eyeshadow base and just dip your finger in it, you can dab off most of it on your hand, you don't want it to like be really thick. And then take the glitter, you can see it really sticks to that eyeshadow base. And then I'm just going to pat this on the eyelid. Now again, dip it back into the primer, dip it onto your finger, and just pat it on your eyelid. Now with glitter, it's incredibly easy for it to all fall all over the cheeks and end up looking like a big disco ball face. So instead of going backwards and forwards with it, you just need to literally tap gently. So I'm just gonna repeat this process until there's as much glitter on there as I want. Okay, so that's fine just there. I'm gonna go back in with my 217 that we used to apply the bronzer and just soften the edges of that glitter. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with my buffing brush and just slightly just go underneath the eye where you can see that any glitter has fallen out. When you're using glitter, it is practically impossible to not get any on your face, but doing it this way with the eyeshadow base and making sure it's quite tacky really, really helps it to stick. just make sure that you really wiggle the brush right at the root of the lashes and then pull through to the tips afterwards and that really gives a nice full lash look and then I also like to take the mascara on the top and then don't forget that under the eye as well just a little bit under there Okay, so now onto the fun part with those bright orange lips. So I'm going to go in with MAC Pro Longwear Lip Pencil in Water Blast. Now this is a bright, bright orange and because it's from the Pro Longwear range, it lasts all night long throughout drinking and eating. Maybe a little case, so it will last you forever. So I'm just going to go in, I've already applied a lip balm before I did my foundation. So I'm just going to go in right around the edges and then I'm going to fill it in with the lipstick. And I believe this lip liner is actually the one that Charlotte Tilbury used um, for London Fashion Week, so it's definitely bang on trend. So then I'm going to go in with my lip brush. This is the MAC 231, probably the best lip brush ever. I love this one. And I'm going to go in with this Pro Longwear lipstick, also from MAC. So again, it's going to last you all night. And this is in the colour Good To Go, which is just a bright, creamy orange colour. So load it up with the lipstick and just fill in. Okay, so now that lipstick's on, you can see how bright and vivid that colour is. It's absolutely beautiful and perfect for spring and summer. So if you can't get your hands on the MAC version, I thought I'd give you two more affordable options that you might be a little bit more readily available to. So I'm going to say the first one, this is probably my second favourite bright orange lipstick after the MAC one. And it's number 620 Coral Queen from Rimmel. Now this is really, really nice because again, it's a bright, bright orange. It's almost exactly the same colour as this, but again, like half the price. Another one is from Barry M and this is in number 54. I'm going to put a link in the description box to where you can go and see my blog post where there's a little shop list post at the bottom and you can scroll through all the products used to just kind of recap them and go off and buy them in my store if you'd like. The only thing about this Barry M one I'd say is it's not quite as creamy. It's a little bit 
on the drier matter side. Again you can see it's a very very similar colour so that's another good option. Okay so just to finish off the look I'm just going to bronze up the skin just a little bit further and add some highlighter on the cheeks. So I'm going to go in with my, uh, what is this, the Mineralized Skin Finish in Comfort which is just a really nice bronzer. I'm going to take that on a MAC 187. So once you've got the bronzer on again, just go in with your foundation brush and really buff out the edges so everything looks seamless. So then I'm going to go in with a little bit of blush and I'm going to stick to the coral orange kind of theme and go with Benefit Cha Cha Tint. Now this is like a liquid blush in exactly the same colour as the lipstick. So I'm going to take a little bit of that on the back of my hand, take a blush brush and just load it up on there and then just apply it to the cheeks. Now these kind of liquid watery blushes are absolutely amazing for this kind of really springy summer look because they add a lot of dewiness to the skin and just make you look really, really nice and fresh and healthy. Okay so now I've got the blusher on I'm going to go in with a little bit of highlighter and I'm going to take my Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in the colour Sandstone looks like this. I'm going to take it on a MAC 188 brush. So I'm just going to focus on the top two lines here which are just kind of like the lightest colours and just apply that on the cheekbone for a really nice shimmery dewy skin. And that's all there is to it. A nice sort of glittery pale eye with a smoky liner and a bright orange lip and nice bronzed dewy skin. So I really hope you liked it. I'm really ready for spring and summer now. I just want it to be really hot. So please don't forget to click the like button if you enjoyed this video and also subscribe so you're in the loop on when the next ones are released. And I'll see you very, very soon. Bye everyone.